Hello. Um, I realized that I have never made a, I thought I had made a video um, about um, a vision that God gave me. I believe it was November 2004. It was in the fall of 2004. Um, I, uh, it's one of the main and most important visions or things that God has shown me, whether it's dream or vision, um, that he has shown me is important to share. And uh, I had really thought that I had posted it. I mean, I had made a video and posted it, and I, and I didn't. Uh, so, um, started out uh, being a very, um, very, very, it, it, this is, the images were difficult in this. And the, what I saw first was, uh, I saw like, it was, it looked like a, a, a mechanical sort of creature. All right. And I could see its face. Um, it had large eyes and the eyes were moving around and just looking in all directions. And uh, it had, it looked like black, straight, thick, coarse hair. that was probably about my length, hair length. And it was all like, you know, straight back. You know, so, um... And, uh, it, it, what I immediately thought of when I saw, saw, saw this, the face, I thought that he looks Egyptian and it reminded me, certain features about it reminded me of ancient Egypt. And, um, so I saw it and I, I see it and I, and I immediately felt, you know, this is not a, this is not a good thing. This is not, you know, <laughs> This is bad. This is, there's something demonic going on with this thing. And so I saw it and, I, and it had written, it had something written on its chest that I could not decipher. And it wasn't very long after I had the vision and had been in heavy prayer. I, I, the whole symbol, everything on it, just basically, I just, I don't remember. There's just no piece of it that I, that I can really remember. I, I will say that I think um, it was possibly, it wasn't in like, you know, hieroglyphics, it, it, it but it could have been in, a, in, in maybe like sort of an Aramaic language, I don't know, or Egyptian, maybe. Um, but I could see its chest, and like I said, though, it was not like it was human, and it had, it had very powerful jaws, and it was like, um, metal almost and it was just I was watching them just clamp 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 you know and um very fierce very strong mouth and uh after that I saw all these different arms that had it had many arms and it had an arm in every nation basically that I could see it had an arm like everywhere stretched out well after that it switched to where I was seeing it in a different way. I began to see what I saw first was I saw uh, look like something kind of small and, and dark um, uh, crawled out of a pit. But this time it looked like the mechanical creature that I had seen, but it was more of flesh. It was it was more like an actual being. It had the same hair and it was moving, its eyes were moving around and it's, you know, sort of just scurrying around. And then I go, and then I'm taken back to the, what it looks like is this large mechanical sort of creature. Um, um, I actually use the term robotic also because of the way it moved. It just did not seem like it was um, flesh. And when I saw it in that form. Now, the jaws were moving really hard and, you know, just chomp, chomp, chomp. And the eyes were moving and there was an angel next to me. And I said, I said, what, what is this? And, and what is it, what's it doing? And the angel responded with, um, it is, uh, it has an arm in every nation. 
well, I mean, I could, I could basically see that. But it has an arm in every nation. And then it said, uh, the angel said, um, see its mighty jaws. It will crush the Christian's bones to powder. And it was just this evil, you know, like chill just went through me. And this was one of those experiences that, and I, I don't really have them real often, but this was one of those visions that it had me down for a couple of days. Um, just feeling weak and just feeling a bit, I use the word, Ezekiel used the word was astonished, sort of just in sh shock, you know, kind of from what I'm seeing. Well, I had this back then and I just, you know, and, and, and during that same time I was seeing uh, other things from ancient Egyptian things. Um, and uh, one of the things that I saw, and I actually saw it again tonight, was I was I saw like an ancient Egyptian uh, tomb, um, like inside of a pyramid, and this beautiful, you know, the gold, uh, the way that they're mummified. And I, but I saw um, the top lift off of the tomb, and it was like a living, breathing, healthy pharaoh was alive again. And I've seen this like four times. And I'm really praying about that tonight because he showed it to me again tonight. Um, I thought at first, okay, this is an Egyptian. This has something to do with Egypt or something at some point. There is an Egyptian connection, though. I haven't quite gotten all the meaning from the Lord yet. But I will share what God showed me. Um, I think this was back in March uh, earlier this year. I was at my doctor's office. And I um, sat down to read a magazine, and I just grabbed a Time magazine, and there was an article on ISIS. And uh, the article talked about how they operate through the Internet. And they have actually uh, occupied and taken over two territories, um, and they get a million dollars a month in... Um, donations and they every month they have new recruits people that just sign up and join up and um, I was like wow this is fascinating and then it was like God showed me and it, it very clearly this is this is the creature that you saw you know the reason it looks mechanical is it's because it's 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 the internet it's technology it's um and having the arm in every nation uh there's i don't know how many nations uh or people from specific nations that have joined up with isis from all all over the world and uh certainly um they have taken territory and they have certainly done their share already of uh brutally killing christians and um I, I recently heard a friend tell me, a friend was telling me that there was an attack recently, you know, people crucified after being beheaded. Um, you know, it's, it's very real. And so that's, uh, that's, and, and you know, it's funny too, because, you know, back in, in, in 2004, I, I never made, I never understood any of this. And, Sometimes God doesn't give me interpretation or meaning for, for years. You know, sometimes it's immediate, sometimes it's not. So I got this meaning this year uh, about ISIS. But I will say that it was during that time, probably not long after, that God had shown me and spoke to me very specifically. Um, is in a dream. It's, it's very long, and I'm not going to share it word for word, but... Um, and the meaning in it was um, that uh, just as technology can be used for, for great good, and that's what I use it for. You know, my Facebook is all about Jesus. My, you know, this is about Jesus. Um, it's going to be uh, used in, by great evil. You know, it's going to be used um, for evil. And uh, unlike what we do, and you, we use it for good to try to share the good news of Jesus. But um, so um, 
this message became very clear to me and I think it was in 2008 um, the recognition of technology being so advanced that you know thanks to OnStar and um, you know these uh, devices that help us it was a GPS I'm not very good with all this stuff um, all of these different things cell phones um, where we can easily be found and uh, so we have to give up the whole idea of um, getting, if we get rid of all those things, we'll never be found. That's, I don't believe that's true. Um, I do believe that even with all those things, God can hide us if he needs to. But if you get an evil power over cyberspace, so to speak, you've got some power there. And it looks like ISIS is doing it. And I am just... Um, it's the, there's a report that's come out that the DDoS attack on the internet and cyberspace has been, uh, linked to some amateurs or more like children or young people and somehow they were profited money out of it. Um, I'm the, I don't know that I am completely buying that just because I don't trust news and also there's some things that um, God is showing me that maybe um, I don't know maybe the authorities don't really want us to know what's going on I'm not sure yet but I just wanted to share this about this creature um, and uh, felt it was it's one of those the strongest and the, and the most important things that I felt like God showed me um, and it is ISIS and I don't believe that ISIS is shrinking I think it continues to grow I'm thankful we have troops in, I, in Iraq and I have a um, I don't know my, my niece's husband is in the Navy and um, I know that he was sent out Specifically, they were, you know, to fight or whatever it is that, that the Navy would do in their involvement in, um, in fighting ISIS. But uh, I don't think we can actually physically fight them. Uh, I don't know. Um, I believe that this is something that's very spiritual. And so we have to pray, operate in spiritual gifts, and just have faith and just trust in God. Um, I don't know if this was helpful to anybody in any way, but I, uh, I want to post it and, uh, I pray that God richly blesses each and every one of you. Thank you.